Haka, me meet the menu, eh? Any akupi ha kosha chesh mitoro kopai, shahuk my pashank matampoe. Hello, everyone. My name is Autumn Brown. I'm from Viejas Indian Reservation. I am 18 years old and I am the current reigning 2015 2016 Miss Kumeyaay Nation. And today I will be demonstrating how to make shui. Shui, or acorn mush, was a primary food source for the Kumeyaay and other native Californians as well. To make it, we gather acorns that have fallen on the ground. This usually happens in September or October, but sometimes it's later, depending on the weather. The acorns mostly come from two different kinds of oak tree, the live oak and the black oak. Live oak acorns are smaller and have yellow seeds. Black oak acorns are larger and have white seeds. The good acorns are placed in a basket. The acorns that are rotten or infested with worms are tossed aside. The acorns are stored in large baskets made of willow. The baskets are tightly woven to help keep out bugs and small animals. They are stored above ground in a tree or on posts to keep them away from large animals and to keep them dry. Acorns from most types of oak tree can be stored up to five years. The acorn shells are cracked open with a smooth rock that fits into the palm of your hand. The shells are thrown away and the seeds are placed into another basket. In order to be ground up properly, the seeds must be very dry. They are left out in the sun to dry thoroughly. When the seeds are dry enough, they are rubbed gently to remove the thin layer of skin. Now it's time for grinding. The acorn seeds are placed into an indentation in a grinding rock, or hamulke. This indentation is called a mortar, or matate. Matates are formed over long periods as the grinding slowly wears the rock away. The acorns are ground into a fine meal using a handheld rock called a mano, or ifi. It's very difficult and time consuming. Some people use smaller portable matates or ifmu. Today, most people use an electric seed grinder instead.
The ground acorn meal is put on a basket and gently shaken. The larger pieces move to the outside edge of the basket where they can be removed and placed back into the matate to be ground up finer. Acorns contain a substance called tannic acid. Tannic acid tastes very bitter and can cause stomach problems. Water can remove the acid through a process called leaching. We used to use baskets for leaching, but now the finely ground acorn meal is usually put into a piece of cloth. Clean water is carefully poured over the acorn meal. Some people use hot water, while others prefer cold. The water slowly soaks into the meal and through the cloth down into the bottom of the pot. It takes a tannic acid with it. Live oak acorns will still taste a little bitter. Black oak acorns are preferable since much more of the bitterness can be taken out. Leaching is a slow process that can take several hours. After the tannic acid is leached out, the shui can be flattened out and cooked to make flatbreads. Or fresh water can be added to it to make porridge. It can be eaten hot or cold. Sometimes bay leaves or mint leaves are added for flavor. The kumiai ate shui almost daily. Since acorns can be stored for so long, and since some oak trees produce more in droughts, while others produce more with a lot of rain, they have always been a reliable source of food. <laughs>